A Twin Cities woman recently made the decision to leave teaching in search of a better life. After finding education unsustainable, she turned to a passion that she discovered years ago while at another crossroads in her life. Our Derek James shows us how she's pursuing happiness through self-expression and a different kind of success. After 10 years of teaching, Nikki Jean Tron is trading pupils for paintbrushes. I love my kids. I love my parents. Honestly, I didn't see it coming. It was a year ago in November, and so my second year teaching in fifth grade, and I just hit a brick wall. Tron felt under a lot of pressure. I had a burnout. I would wake up every day at 3 a.m., and just the mind would just start racing. How can I reach this kid? How can I make this more engaging? The tipping point came when it became too painful to continue. And I would get pounding headaches every day, and then I would cry mid-teaching. Like, the kids would see it coming. Mrs. Tron, go, go, go to your desk. We'll just do homework. With the support of her husband, Paul, Tron finished out the school year before turning to the passion that got her through another difficult time. My entire life I was going to be a mom. That was my job and that's what I really wanted to do. And in 2014, we found out we probably wouldn't be able to have kids. So my entire purpose for life just kind of fell. And so I reached for watercoloring because even as a kid, I wanted to illustrate and write my own book. Four years later, she created her first Minnesota watercolor calendar. She didn't produce a calendar for 2023, like but now she's back printed. sharing her renewed and love of life and Minnesota through art. The paintings. The Minnesota State High School Hockey Tournament, that's the time we actually got to get out of school and not get in trouble for it. Photos. My nana, my great grandma, my grandpa, my aunt making pasta. Fonts. Everything is literally my handwriting. That's not common, is it, in calendars? No. And stories. In the month of July is when Paul proposed and in the conservatory at Como. Are all personal. So I like painting my life almost, it's like I'm creating my diary with watercolors. Painting signifies change, as one moves from a blank canvas to endless possibilities. It's a change, it's terrifying, but you just have to try. The challenges, difficulties, and opportunities of the last decade have changed Tron's view of success. Am I happy? Am I working on the goals that I want? And honestly, worst case scenario, no one buys my calendar. I have a ton of Christmas gifts and birthday gifts for people. <laughs> That's what I would... And I luckily got one of those gifts, guys. Nikki Jean Tron's 2024 calendar, Minnesota in Watercolors, can be purchased at Red Balloon Bookshop in St. Paul and Drury Lane Books in Grand Marais or on her website. She's already working on the 2025 calendar as well as a book, which, of course, will feature illustrations as well. Yeah. It, it, the detail is what's incredible to me. These are great to see uh, up close and personal here. I also love how many times she redirected. She realized that something wasn't working yep. for her, and I think a lot of people have trouble kind of changing lanes or actually making changes in her life. So I thought her personal story was incredible too. Well, and teaching is so difficult. My wife is a teacher, and one of the things that Nikki mentioned to me is the classroom's not the difficult part. The When you're actually in the classroom with the kids, that's the best part of the day. It's all of the other stuff. It's not having enough resources. Mm -hmm. It's not having enough time. It's not having, you know, that opportunity to come up with better lessons because of all the other duties that you have as a teacher. I think but she left the door open that she may go back to teaching at some point. Sometimes people are just called to what they're good at.